Okay, so look, it's Jeff in Park City, and it is May 17th, I think. So about this oyster shell scale on my aspen trees. Still can't find out any good information about it. Uh, I have sprayed again with this All Seasons Dormant Spray Oil, which, let's see if we can get the active ingredients for you. I don't know how to focus on that. Basically, it's 98% mineral oil. All of the information online says that we should apply this when the larvae are hatching and the eggs are moving and they're white. Well, I've looked all over and I can't really definitively say that I've seen the action or the movement or activity. And there's no pictures online showing what these little things look like. So I sprayed it anyways. I'm gonna come back in another nine days and I'm gonna spray again. Uh, but I've got these all over the all over the yard. They're coming from across the street. They're spreading into my neighbor's yard. And let me show you, I think this stuff works, but let's go outside. Okay, so one of the problems is you put the dormant oil in a hose-in sprayer and then you spray up the trees. Well, I'm on my second floor, so I'm 10, 15 feet up in the air, and I've got aspens that go up another 10 or 15 feet. It's hard, to, it's hard, if not impossible, to spray the tops of these. Yesterday, I got up on the roof, so I'm carrying my you know, 75 feet of hose up on the roof and I'm spraying and raining down on everything I can. So if you notice this aspen right here in front of me is pre-covered and it's dying. This aspen shell scale really does kill your tree. But after I sprayed this dormant oil on, the scale starts turning a little bit blacker and darker so here let's see if i can show you that is it now some of these things i can literally brush off with my finger which i'm thinking is the stuff from last year that we've killed so for a couple of years i've been spraying the dormant oil on here I can't reach out let me see if I can reach this and then last year we had Buck spray some other uh, herbicide systemic stuff so this stuff here is just kind of falling right off into my hand as if it's not active or it's dead here we go. Here's, the, here's a real bad infestation on it so these here they just kind of come off real easy in my hands. I'm hoping that this stuff here are the dead ones. I cannot see activity. Now, Buck said, and it makes sense, the way to tell if we got this under control is by looking at the new growth and seeing if the bugs are on there. So here is a bit of a new growth. And I don't see any on here yet. Now, is this new growth? This is probably new growth from this year. This definitely is. So I think I've got it under control on what I've been spraying. Let's go downstairs and let me get you a closer look at some of this crap. Here's this tree, which is covered way far up there. And I'm not sure if you can get a good view on this, but it's almost like, see these, some of these are coming off real easy. 
but I think the damage has already been done to this tree. It's just not healthy. And I cut off some of the dead branches yesterday. But yeah, I, I, I just don't know. This down all the way down to the ground. These again don't look like they're biting into there. Now let me find you a tree. I know I got one where they won't even come off. These right here, they're in a little bit tougher. I gotta put some force to rub them off. Again, these are killing my trees. All the way up the trees. And these are coming off somewhat. So I'm hoping these are dead, but I don't know if you can see. It almost looks like there's a little white tail on some of these things. And I'm just not sure if these are the things that are moving or if these are the old shells. No one's, no one's being definitive enough online telling us what to look for. Meanwhile, Meanwhile, my trees are dying. All right, so I put this black tape with the outside of the electrical tape, the sticky tape out, because I was wanting to catch the crawlers. But I never could. And you can even see where that tape was. And how the trees are got a dirtier color to it. But see, here's some of these things. They're not coming off as easy. You gotta really dig into them. Now here's damage that I did to the tree. A couple years ago, I decided this thing was completely caked and covered with these, with the scale. So I scrubbed it off of here. And I think I damaged the trunk. So, but the trees actually coming back to life with the leaves but I think I've still damaged it here's a tree that has been killed these things have just dug in and done so much damage here is a pile of dead branches that I did yesterday and if you look at all of these, what do they have in common? They're all full of this aspen shell scale. This one here is so bad. This is what it does to the branches. This was a live branch. And these things are dug in there and they're not coming off. Unless you really go deep and then by then, you're damaging the bark. So, come on, man. Someone needs to help me out here. And uh, give me your two cents on what we can do to stop this. Okay, so here I am at my neighbor's house. And you can see their aspen shell scale. Is kind of, and they have done nothing to it. But a lot of it's dead. So I don't know if that's the old shells and they moved on up, but they've gone all the way up the tree and it's killing the tree. There's a few leaves at the top. Here's another one right here. Same thing. Tree's dying. all over the place it's a shame okay so stay tuned subscribe follow me because i'm gonna get on top of this and figure this out and if you're a horticulturist with uh any knowledge or experience of this then 
please comment and let me know. Look at this. This tree is completely dead. No growth on it. Look at that. It's a shame. So, you know, can't point fingers, can't put blame, but theirs outbreak and coverage is a lot worse than mine. So I'm gonna say, because I'm south of them, that with the north winds, they brought it to me, and now I'm spreading it further downwind. So hit subscribe, hit like, leave me a comment. We gotta figure out what this shit is. See ya.